Well, provides for her man. You cannot set sail for robbing and pillaging on an empty stomach. It's like the story of the parson's wife and the troll. I don't think I've ever heard of that one. Great Carl Erson, the mainlanders have no historical perspective. Read the runes. It's all right there. Talk to a grandparent. But no, you cast people out like rubbish. Wisdom is not to be treated so lightly. When my father grew old, I sat with him day and night, absorbing his wisdom, learning about the demons and where the wickedness resides in men's hearts. Then as his time grew near, I built a large pyre, burnt him and... does get a bit itchy. Um, okay. You never answered my question. What do you think of Vice City? Your land and people have a lot in common with mine. You see, we too fed our homes to the lack of food, overpopulation, and the bitter cold. And, mind you, burning out to raid passing ships is fine, but we needed a new land to have our way with. Granted, we rode and sailed to an area, land and force, and burned out a local monastery or village, whereas you come in, destroy all the creatures, and so Patrick versions of them. You did a fine job pillaging these lands, but we should have done something about Canada. Wait a minute there, Buster. My mother's half Canadian. Oh, what are you going to do, wench? Sweep the ice furiously at me? Ha! Huh. Socialized medicine? Nah, you did it all wrong. You should have continued to the north and finished things off. I talk about this in the motivational learning tapes. That and beware the magpie. This is the devil. He will rain us when darkness falls. Are you married? You seem like a tough character to live with. Hi, your wife Helga. What a hag. This show is not sexist, whatever certain bearded women might say. Women are people too. I'd appreciate if you wouldn't talk that way. Ah. How's filming going, Steve? Well, Candy is a natural. And that new girl, she's insatiable. She went through half the cast and crew before I even took a light reading. Anyway, hey, tomorrow we're going on location to shoot the boat scenes. Boat scenes? What boat scenes? The fishermen are in the throes of passion when the giant shark comes in. What'd I say about the giant shark? <sighs> I said, no giant shark, all right? Just keep the cameras pointed at the poon tag. Okay, okay. Hey, Tommy, you guys got to try, right? Get those flyers printed up. Yeah, but nobody's going to let us distribute those things. I mean, they're just too, uh, they're unimaginative. You don't worry about that. I've got my own ideas for distribution. Okay. Hey, Candy, uh, in my trailer.
Lord of Troll has carried off my woman in the dead of night. Give me wisdom, Thor. So, what did you tell him? Hi, Amy. It was obvious the Black Plague had visited his home. As sure as you can't be a midwife to a fairy, expect wisdom from a fool, or find a good meal downtown on a Saturday night. Okay. I don't, um, I really have nothing to ask you because I really don't think we're bonding quite right here. I'm more than a little confused. Let's go to the phone. You're on K-Chat with Thor. Yes, hello, Thor. My name's Jay. I'm a huge fan, man. Your book really helped me get through puberty. Everyone else was into vampires and stuff. I just got into the Viking thing. It's pretty cool. It's been working pretty well for me. Anyway, my girlfriend and I, we fight all the time. She's always calling to check up on me. It really totally sucks. It's a drag. Like, I hang out at the strip mall with all my boys, and she shows up. Is there any advice you can give me? Ah, uh, yes. There was a man who asked for a night's lodging at a certain farm on the eve of Moundy Thursday. Or maybe it was Fat Tuesday. Anyway, in the course of the night, the old woman of the house took out a horn of salve and smeared herself with it from head to toe. She then climbed on top of the stove, sat astride a sweeping broom, and began to... Um, hello? Excuse me, what the hell are you talking about? Reading from the room, Swench! What kind of rune is that? Aye, it's a man's rune, and not appropriate for the warrior under 18 years old. But there's a moral at the end. Are you still there, Fair Jay? Uh, yeah, I'm still here. Do you love this woman? Yeah, I, I think so. She's really special. Especially in the back seat, if you know what I mean, Thor. Then behead her, and parade that love around on a stick for the world to admire. Wow, cool. Thanks, Thor. Okay, I'd like to throw you out, but you've got an enormous sword, and, uh, yeah. Let's take another call. But first, listeners, Vice City, remember, don't behead your girlfriend and take her head around on a stick. Hey, it's me. 
Mr. V. What are you doing? Look at him. I hate that one. Constitution. Yeah, I sure have. It talks about freedom. Freedom for Florida from the stench of people moving here to retire or go on vacation. Build your own damn theme park in your own damn state. Florida theme parks is for Florida people only. That's what I say. I mean, I don't go to Alabama to visit a theme park, so why do they come here? Mr. Hickory, your views are a little extreme. Plus, I don't believe there are theme parks in Alabama. Then they should stop coming down my way and build redneck land or whatever. Damn redneck hicks ain't got no class. My views ain't extreme, mister. They're common sense. And what a lot of people would say if they have the guts. If you keep letting people immigrate here from all over the so-called United States, guess what? There's no more room. We'll 
be piled on top of each other like they are in Australia. What we're going to do soon is build a river. A river of freedom. A river of hope. A river which runs from the coast to coast and cuts us off from the 47 states of waste rules and bad influencers to the north. We are going to cut Florida off from the mainland of our oppressors and float out to sea. Then, the nation of Florida will be free to start over. There'll be no long-ass lines at the log flume or the pirate ship ride when I take over. You and the kids will be able to ride the rides all day. We will have a roller coaster for each and every Florida family. You know, you're bordering on treason. What you are saying is a very naughty thing, and only because here on pressing issues do we believe so wholeheartedly in free speech are we allowing it. It's the truth, my friend, the damn truth. And before you start, I am not a racist. I hate everybody irrelevant of other issues. But I especially hate Yankees, by which I mean anyone from Georgia or further north. Build your own theme parks. Buy your own sun. Grow your own damn mosquito-infested swamp, pal. We're going to build ourselves a river. FBI, CI, I don't give a damn. They can't stop us. You shrub, you yellow-bellied, tie-wearing, bribe-taking hypocrite. What have you done for Vice City up there in Washington? I've insured important tax breaks for gun retailers, real estate developers, and I've cut the cost of policing, saving the city 2%, or 25 cents per household, over a six-year period. At the expense of society. Think of the little people. Poor people have no voice in this city. Every time I find a park to meditate in, someone brings in a bulldozer and builds condos. The madness must stop. So you suggest we just stop making babies? People need a place to park their boat and trailer and to put their swimming pool. You're beginning to sound red, and by that I mean you prefer a hammer and sickle over a hamburger. I'm not little. I'm five foot five. It's time for corporations and all of capitalism to step aside for naturalism. You're not saving this planet. You're spending it. Your credit is no good here. We can't afford to loan you any more of our nature. Those are our trees. I only wish I could be around a little longer to enjoy it. I feel so old. Someone must take my legacy. I must train a little me. How old are you? I'm 23, but I feel much older and wiser. I know everything. I've seen a lot of the world. What does the rest of the world have to tell us about how to do things? Build more trains? Have people elect their leader rather than an elite electoral college? Ride a bike to work like a Girl Scout? Or a clown with dietary concerns? No thanks, Vladimir. I'll agree with that. People from other countries are good for nothing. That's why we have to keep teaching them a lesson. I'll tell you what makes a real man. A truck to pull stuff and a couch to think on. I'll tell you. Speaking as a sensualist, and by that I mean a very narrow-minded, id-centered man of peace, will travel. I recently went to Europe. I think everyone should see it for a week. You really see what's wrong with this country when you visit a European utopia. Things like a journey, public transportation, healthcare, leather shorts, mustaches. When I went to Belize, I helped some villagers clear some land for an environmentally friendly coal mine. We've all got to make some sacrifices if we're going to get anywhere. My dad gave me the money to set up an exciting trust there. But how does that help the people in Vice City from worrying about whether they're going to get robbed? What drives a man to just take? What we need are more after-school sports like choir or drama so people can learn to express themselves properly by singing or pretending to be a tree. Have you ever heard a whale sing? It's a lonely form of beauty and some very ancient wisdom. Helping people to help themselves with drama and choir and flowers and my dad's money. Listen, trust fund Tommy, your ideas are pathetic. It's no wonder that mankind has woken up one day to find me in charge, amigo. Mr. Shrub, you got elected on a campaign promising to reduce taxes to zero. But under your stewardship, we've seen taxes go up by 20% and services decline. Nobody is interested in your statistics, Chavez. Let me tell you something, pal. I'm better than that. I will not, I shall not, I cannot stoop to your level. They assured me this was a show that understood politics, where we could debate things mano a mano, and I find myself having statistics hurled at me like...
to give money. That's right, Jonathan. Money is important. It can be exchanged for goods and services, like getting a hip replacement or funding a starving child in Australia. I feel all covered with flies right now. Call us. Pledge your money. Give 10% of your income. That's all we ask. And for that, you know everyone can be educated on the important things we discuss on VCPR. 10% is a really small amount. I remember when I was volunteering in Central America to make myself appear less shallow. The native peoples would give you 10% of their land for a pair of mirrored sunglasses. And they would run around me saying, chicle, chicle, which is Espanol for pretty woman. It was very spiritual, like waves. Absolutely. But remember, this radio station could disappear. The voice of unprofitable radio could be silenced. One day you wake up, roll over, and she's gone. You go into the kitchen, there's a note scrawled, the sound of a taxi leaving in the distance, a thunderstorm rolls in. It's a metaphor for my haircut, or this pledge drive. Yes, the pledge drive. Become a member. Only members, or people with radios, can listen to this radio station. Now back to pressing issues. Shouldn't we give out the phone number? Like I tell the children at the library I volunteer at, look it up yourself. No, you can't go to the bathroom, and stop crying. That's good advice. Now, back to pressing issues. Welcome back to Pressing Issues with me, Maurice Chavez. On our panel, we got the secessionist lunatic John F. Hickory, liberal rich kid Callum Crayshaw, and neo-fascist congressman Alex Shrub. Gentlemen, welcome back. Let's start with you, Mr. Hickory. Why the F? For Florida. I'm a patriot. I've even got an orange grove tattooed all over my groin. Excellent. But back to the matter at hand. Public safety. How do we get guns under control in this city? By giving everyone hope. A dream of a better tomorrow. By encouraging people to grow their own root vegetables. What's the satisfaction of holding a gun in your hand when you could be holding a hoe, planting seeds in a peasant village? Keep your hoes and seeds to yourself. We don't need gun control. If you read the Constitution, it's a sacred document that should not be changed. Under our Constitution, women couldn't vote, but the liberals come in crying crocodile tears. We need to get scaremongers and non-believers men like you, Chavez, under control. I've got a good mind to have your funding removed. We don't get any funding. Yeah, exactly. Well, good. <laughs> you won't see a penny out of me. You've got to stop spreading these lies or I'll whip you myself. And I'm not afraid. The Constitution asserts a man's right to bear arms and arm bears and all points in between. Who ever heard of a gun or a bear causing problems? This is all cocky pop or whatever that word is. It keeps the place safe. Trouble is caused by unemployment and unemployment comes from poor economic performance and lazy people. If you had a job, would you steal a car? Of course not. And if you had a high-rise condo, a mistress, uh, and a seat on the board, would you run around graffitiing your name all over town and making a nuisance of yourself, spinning on your back and popping and locking and... Not a hope. It's simple. If you don't have a job, starve. Get out of my constituency. By force, if necessary, and starve. That is quite simple. Are you really saying that? Of course I am. Vice City is a growing city. Of course, there are going to be some growing pains, but what I tell people is this. Gather up your life savings, buy yourself a piece of swamp, drain it, and get rid of the damn wildlife. Then apply for planning permission. Pretty soon, you can have your own retirement community or resort destination holiday place. You can start making money out of the boom, the shrub-inspired boom, and enjoy the kind of things sensible people have. Personal bodyguards, massive fences, and a bigger collection of guns than the other guy. It stands to reason. No, 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 no. Keep them out of here. We do not want any more old folks. If there are any old people listening, go back to your homes. Florida does not want you. Please, die somewhere else. What's wrong with Nevada or Kansas? We want a river. We need a river. The Freedom River. And what about the other crimes? It seems car crime, fashion crime, drugs, everything is on the rise. Absolutely. Of course it is. When I was in Uganda, people were poor, but they were happy. The more you have, the less you have. And that's kind of what I'm all about. There's satisfaction in spending all day weaving a basket rather than just buying one at the store. At one point in Uganda, I saw a great lake of sand and a massive speaking dog. It was a dog of love, not of hate. It was a spirit journey. What are you talking about? I'm talking about hopes. We 
each other as I saw in a Mother's PTA group meeting recently. Baseball is our national sport, our national pastime. into a river of freedom. So far, we've dug 17 feet. We're almost free, almost, when we are floating away in the Caribbean Sea, free to run things our way, singing Kumbaya in the sunshine. No school, no tax, free barbecue and pinball for everyone. Sophisticated entertainment. Yes, well, what about the little guy? What about the guy who is standing there saying, I like being part of America. I like it a lot. I get public radio. I can hear Maurice Chavez. I own a small one-bedroom home. A business selling flowers to people stuck in traffic. Three or four radios all turned on to BCPR. A dog. Fifteen ice cubes. But I don't feel safe. I'm worried about gangs. Gangs are a myth put out by the liberal elite to patronize and demean the working man. I mean, what kind of right-minded youth from a poor background is going to spend his time stealing things and posing in silly clothes when he could be getting ahead with a minimum wage job and making his parent proud? The dream of America is to live in a duplex and share a yard. Why would anyone want to threaten that great future? Answer me that and I'll show you a green dog. And speaking for the underdog, the foundation I set up with my trust fund, we believe gangs are a valid expression of a people's identity, a grouping, a community within a community. Gangs are a way to be noticed in the boxy suburbs. You scream out rather than urinate at the edge of your camp like a proud native. We spray paint our names on the walls of the mall to ward off predators. And... filming going Steve well candy is a natural and that new girl she's insatiable she went through half the cast and crew before I even took a light reading anyway hey tomorrow we're going on location to shoot the boat scenes boat scenes what boat scenes the fishermen are in the throes of passion when the giant shark comes in what I say about the giant shark <sighs> I said no giant shark all right just keep the cameras pointed at the poon tag. Okay, okay. Hey, Tommy, you guys got to try, right? Get those flyers printed up. Yeah, but nobody's going to let us distribute those things. I mean, they're just too, uh, they're unimaginative. You don't worry about that. Hey, Mario. What's going on? You know hey, what's going, going on? on?
Hey, I never asked your sister out. You better you tell him, what? Mario. I hate that woman. I got to look hot today, What's man. Going on? You know I've been loyal. Important that, well, I mean. You're a great looking guy, even though your girlfriend is a cheap tramp. But do you think it's important that rock and roll bands look good, or is it about the music? Like I said, I'm a creature with two faces, babe, you know? An angel and a devil. And that means it's really important to look good. Music cannot stand on its own. You need to look good singing it. I'm tired of people saying all we care about is party and that we can't play. If we couldn't play, people wouldn't come to our concerts. We're not going away, and if we do, it won't be on purpose. Where are we, dear Creek? We're on the radio, love. Stop dragging me down. I told you, if you ride a whirlwind, don't be surprised when the dawn breaks. Where were we? Uh, she's really getting on my nerves. Why are you waving your hands at me? Oh, I'm supposed to go to commercial. I'll be right back. Right, no.